if you're about to have a hysterectomy, one question you've probably thought of is, what's left after a hysterectomy and what can I do with it? Let's talk about it. Hi, I'm Dr. Shirley. I'm a board certified OBGYN and I wanna to talk to you today about what's left over after a hysterectomy. When we do a total hysterectomy, meaning we remove the uterus and the cervix, what's left afterwards is the vagina. We call it the vaginal vault and at the very top where we sew it together, we call it the vaginal cuff. Now, if you're thinking like a lot of my patients, you're sewing my vagina together? What? This isn't something you need to freak out about. Let's look at a picture. So before you have a hysterectomy, you have this. And you see, looking this way, this is the bladder. The next is the vagina, followed by the uterus on top. It's the muscular organ that's on top. And behind it is the rectum. When we do a hysterectomy, we remove just this portion right here, and that's the uterus. What's left is the vagina. All of this. And at the very top, we have to sew it together or else the bowel will fall out. You don't want that. That's called a cuff to hissence. So here you can see the after picture. And what you see here is the uterus, that muscular body is gone. That's because we've removed the uterus and the cervix and all that's left is the vagina. If you see though, the vaginal length is about the same as where there was a uterus before, except it's closed at the top. The easiest way to think about the cuff is to think about it kind of like a sock. You can put your foot in completely. You still have all of the length in the room of the sock, but at the top it's closed because you don't want what's inside, like your bowel, to come out and you don't want what's outside, like anything out here, to go inside and get stuck in your abdomen. Now, instead of a cervix, you just have the top of the vagina and so it's closed off at the top. So yes, we do close your vagina at the end of a hysterectomy, but not where you think. We close it at the top so that there's still plenty of room for activities once you've healed. But wait and talk to your doctor for the full six to eight week recovery to ensure that your vaginal cuff is completely healed and ready for activity.